Okay, guys, we're back at the computer now. Um, it's finished its thing. Display settings to improve the appearance of visual elements, windows will automatically adjust your screen resolution. Okay. Oh god. We need some display drivers. This thing's a little slow for some reason. Then again, it's its first time starting up, so it's probably going to be slow. And then again, there's no display drivers installed either. Okay. Okay, just plugged in my flash drive and it's not going to recognize it. Fucker. Don't want to do the fucking tour right now. There we go. Drivers, dev, uh, 2400. I think we got them too. Chipset installation utility. We're gonna install this chipset software. Sorry, sorry if it's wiggling a lot. This desk ain't very stable. So, please bear with me. Yes. Yes. Done. No, we're not going to restart the PC now. Close that out. Close that out. Next. With our network interface driver. Our NIC driver. Next. Yes. Dells for me are, my my opinion, Dells are the easiest for me to work on. I guess it's done. Next, so we're gonna install our audio driver. Sound Max. And I don't know if you can see it, but I yes, I do got a line running down my screen. That is the screen. That is not the graphics card in this computer. So, bear with me. Just please ignore it. It's 
why this screen I don't sell. I'm not gonna sell it because it's got that line running down the center of it. Nope, we're not gonna restart the computer at the moment. Yes, we're going to restart our computer now because all our drivers have been installed, or at least the ones that I know of. I'll go verify through Device Manager to see if there's anything else I need to install. But that's usually the basic drivers you need for a Dell system like this. Audio, network interface, and video. And chipset software. And then if you have a dial up modem, that's. You'll need that driver too. This one doesn't have one. And as you can see, our display is fixed now. It's not all huge, humongous anymore. So. That's too damn small. Adjust the resolution. When I when I reload a computer, I always put it at 1,024 by 768 resolution. Because if they use, like, see, I loaded on an LCD widescreen, correct? And then say they hook it up to a 15-inch CRT. Well, the, the widescreen resolution isn't going to work on that CRT monitor because it's not going to support the resolution. 1,024 pixels by 768 pixels is what I call the universal resolution for these computers. So that's what I put all my computers at. See if there's anything else. No, we got all our drivers. I don't see no exclamation marks. Okay. I'm getting to eight minute mark. Ugh. All I gotta do now is install the software, like Adobe Reader, Adobe Flash, the web browsers, and all that good stuff, and we'll be done with this one. So, see you on a bit.